how long could one pound of electricity power the entire world? Because a pound of electricity doesn't actually mean anything. A pound is a unit of mass, while electricity is the flow of energy. The two are totally unrelated. But for the sake of the puzzle, let's assume the question means one pound of pure electrons. A single electron has a mass of about 9.1 times 10 to minus 3 kilograms, so one pound of them would be a colossal number, about 5.5 times 10 times stable 3 electrons. So how much power is that? The answer is still zero. A pile of stationary electrons is useless, just like a million gallons of water sitting at sea level is useless. To generate energy, that water needs to fall from a height. That height difference creates pressure and flow. For electrons, the same principle applies. You need a potential difference, which we call voltage, to create the pressure that makes them move. That directional movement of electrons is what we call an electric current. This is exactly how a battery works. A chemical reaction creates a stable voltage that pushes electrons from the negative to the positive terminal, generating power. So let's go back to our pound of electrons and do the math. The total electric charge of one pound of electrons is about 8.8 .8 times 10 times Dable Coulombs. According to the International Energy Agency, the world's total electricity consumption in 2024 was about 30.8 trillion kilowatt hours. Now we can finally calculate the energy using the formula. Energy equals charge times voltage. At a standard US household voltage of 120 volts, that one pound of electrons would generate enough energy to power the entire planet for just three seconds. If we use a common industrial voltage of 480 volts, it would last about 12 seconds. And even at a high voltage of 600 volts, you'd only get about 15 seconds of global power. And that's a perfect theoretical number. In the real world, with energy loss during transmission and grid limitations, the actual time would be even shorter. 